Hey guys and welcome back to Naruto episode 61. So in the last episode we had the beginning of the final rounds of the tuning exam with Naruto facing off against Neji Hyuga. And uh, it went as expected. Naruto tried to, um, you know, brute force the matter and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Neji and what happened was Naruto got his backside handed to him. He then tried to shadow clone to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Neji and Naruto got his backside handed to him. He then tried to many a shadow clone, and I suspect that it will all change. No, it won't. Naruto get his backside handed to him once again, and have to pull out something else, um, which I find strange. But you know, like suspension of disbelief at his anime after all, we're watching twelve-year-olds fight, which is probably very illegal. Uh, let's not talk about that because they don't talk about the fact that they're 12 year old. Uh, they're, they're, uh, can't speak anyway. <laughs> Jesus. They don't talk about the fact that they're 12 years old in the anime at all unless it's super convenient. Um, but then when they talk about sexy little bodies and stuff, it makes you feel really awkward when you do remember that they're 12. Anyway, let's gloss over that. And it didn't actually happen for the sake of people getting very into trouble with the authorities. But looks like. Naruto and Neji are going to be hopefully concluding this fight in this episode. Otherwise, if they don't, it's been dragged on really, really long. But this is my prediction. Naruto tries his 50 Shadow Clones. Um, they still get ruined by Neji. Um, then Naruto does try something else that's stupid and ends up um, nearly losing. And then he summons a Toad and wins. Um, at least that's what I think. Or, or he could summon a toad and it be a tadpole again, which would be really funny and then have to pull something else out. Um, but there's only one way to find out as we watch the next episode. But if you're one of the many who are not yet subscribed, do please remember to subscribe. And I forgot to say before we do, but before we do, do remember to subscribe. You can always unsubscribe later if you, for any reason, no longer want to watch the videos. Uh, but without further ado, let's crack straight into Naruto episode 61. <laughs> Why is it Iruka not at the match? Well, you think Iruka would be there, cheering on Naruto? These final rounds are nothing like the preliminaries, as Naruto will find out. Why are they nothing like the preliminaries? Can't say that word. Preliminaries. Why are they nothing like the preliminaries? Yeah, that word. Why are they nothing like that? I was going to say he's killed more of the Black Ops, but yeah, of course he has. Put on a good show, will you, Naruto? You know, I've got a tough job to do. And I'd like to be entertained while I'm doing it. What are you doing? Is he going to attack? Oh, I almost, almost heard the title. That was quick enough. What? Use my, my jutsu. Channel my chakra into mute in the video. They're using the, like, stereotypical... Yeah, they're using the stereotypical kung fu movie thing where only one person ever attacks at once and everyone else just stands around. This is ridiculous! That's because you're going one on one. You think I can be fooled with a trick like that? What do you mean a trick? Also, why are they all just letting them run? You can't hide from me. Just trip them up. I hope to God that was a clone Naruto. Otherwise, you're a bloody idiot. He ran straight for you. The more the others attack, the more you stand out for holding back. You're the real one, aren't you? Yeah, he's the idiot one. The match is over. It turns out, no, that is a fake one. I told you it was pointless. <laughs> no, don't give up, Naruto. Naruto won't give up. He'll die before he gives up. Oh, yeah? And I told you it was a mistake to count me out. <laughs> it was a fake one. I don't know why I always think that Naruto is an idiot when he always does these big brain plays. Alright! Way to go, Naruto! I like the Kiba's cheering for Naruto. He held one of his clones back to deceive me, to lure me into a trap. You thought I'd be too much of a chicken to attack you myself? Well, think again! Help! That's interesting. So, wait, a chakra shield? But that's... But that's what? Oh, that's cool. Where do we divot? This battlefield's gonna be wrecked by the time they're all finished. That punch of Naruto should have flattened him. But that was... That was what? That's 
that's one of Neji's special defenses. Okay, fantastic. But what was it? What did he actually do? We'll see about that! Please don't shadow clone again, Naruto. Really? The eight trigrams palm rotation. Okay, so you can just defend himself from wherever by doing a spinner rooney. Okay, why didn't he do this any sooner when Naruto summoned like 50 of them? The moment he senses an attack, Neji discharges an intense, focused burst of chakra from the chakra points in his body. But how much chakra is he wasting though? Normally, chakra emitted from chakra points is difficult to control. Even Jonin can usually only utilize chakra from a single body part at a time, like the hands or feet. But he's been trained to use it all over? He can emit chakra from several places, warding off simultaneous attacks from multiple directions. Okay, that's great, but sand? Even more impenetrable than gar or shell of sand. Excuse me? Nothing can get through it. All right, aye, we'll see about that. What happens when he runs out of chakra? Then nothing. Then he's doing nothing. Then he's dead. I thought only father could- It's a secret ninja art. For generations reserved only for the main household of the Huga clan. Well, you know what? I'm glad he can do it. No one should be surprised. You haven't even begun to see his full powers. Yeah, I'm glad Neji can do it. He's stupid main clan horde and buggers, yeah. You're in range, and you can't escape my eight trigrams. In range of what? You're in range of his fart. <laughs> Mate, now you're doing some techno wizardry, okay? Ain't allowed. Gentle fist art. Eight trigrams, 64 palms. Let's dance. You've only got two palms, mate. Eight trigrams! Two palms! Okay, at least you can count this thing. No, it's still two. Eight palms! Sixteen palms! Oh, he's doing binary! Thirty-two palm! Hey! I was right. Turns out it's not even Naruto. Have we been surpassed by this branch family? Ha! Ha! Get it up you, you main branch bloody purist. Is Naruto alright though? Or is he just like... Looks like it's over. No. To think that Yuga's Keke Genkai would find its purest form in this child of a lesser branch of the clan. Oh, shut your face, man. You're just as bad as that douchebag. Truly, my brother, you've been denied what is rightfully yours. Wait, what? I'll struck all 64 of your chakra points. You're lucky to still be breathing. This is Naruto we're talking about? He's probably got some weird mutation that gives him double the amount of chakra points. To realize how utterly hopeless it all was. This little dream of yours. Don't say it. <coughs> hey, Hinata, what's wrong? You okay? Sorry, she's just got the COVID too. I almost thought he could win. Naruto. You know, come on. He can win. Just you wait. Just you wait and see. You can summon a real big frog. What are you going to do about that, huh? Just flatten you. Just sit on your head. <laughs> come on, Naruto. You've got to believe in the heart of the cards. Gotta do it for Lee, you've gotta do it for Hinata, you've gotta do it for Kiba and Choji and who else lost? Gotta do it for Ino, Sakura. Come on. That's a pineapple head. Go out and kick some ass. Impossible. Impossible. I says that he was useless, but now he's not. And I, I poked all of his chakra holes. I just don't know when to give up. It's true. Yeah, but that doesn't mean anything. Everyone already told me. I was the greatest. Well, shut your face, Neji Huga. That even is your real name. It can't be. No, it can be. You're watching it. Hey. Hey. <coughs> coughing up blood. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wow. You must still be injured from your match. I was only kidding when I said she had the COVID. You gonna be all right? You need some water or something? Oh, sure, she'll be fine. Uh oh. Let me have a look at her. No, 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 no. It's all right. You can trust me. He's evil glasses, man. Kuribo. It's not Kuribo. That's Yu Gi Oh again. You don't remember what you did to Hinata, huh? The way you worked on her with your mind games, tearing her down when she worked so hard to get here. Can't work on someone. You can't work mind games on someone that got no mind. All that stuff about the great Hyuga clan, main household, branch families. What a bunch of crap! It doesn't give you the right to decide who's a failure. That's what I've got against you. Yes, not at all. You tell him. Hey, what are you? Don't worry. What is he doing, doctor? Wait, you've got healing hands, or are you just fondling a twelve-year-old? 
the Huga clan's heritage of hatred. For generations, the main household of our clan has practiced a secret ninjutsu known as the Curse Mark Jutsu. The Curse Mark Jutsu, excuse me? The Curse Mark is the symbol of a bird locked in its cage. It's the mark of those who are bound to a destiny they cannot escape. That sounds brutal, but w and you've been cursed. Uh, is is that? I think that's a curse mark, mate. That's the curse mark. So the main branch of the Huga clan curse marks the lesser branches of the Hu That's horrible. They had sent the head cloud ninja to sign the treaty and join in the celebration. Everyone was there to welcome our old enemies. Every Genin and Jonin in the Leaf Village. So where's the Cloud Ninja things? We haven't seen any of that. This was the day on which the heir to the main household was to turn three. And what does that mean when they turn three? It was Lady Hinata's third birthday. Right, but it's not really Hinata's fault now, is it? I like how you're just airing everyone's dirty laundry to like a packed stadium. They obviously can't hear and they're just like, what's going on now? Our twin brothers. Oh, your dad's his twin. He entered into the world first, so he is head of the family. So that makes a main branch. That's interesting. While my father, his twin brother, is banished to a lesser branch of the family. So Lady Hinata is three years old. Congratulations. Thank you. What do you mean congratulations? You just survived for three years. Is it that difficult a feat? Well, actually, I could imagine it would be with all the stuff they do to the poor bloody kids. She looks nice, father. Don't you think? She's nice. She's lovely. What is it, father? What's wrong? Oh. It's nothing, my son. You're four and you're like, she looks nice, father, don't you think? It was then, on the day the heir to the main household turned three, that the curse mark was put on me and I was made a bird in a cage by my own uncle. But what's that supposed to mean, though? Like, I don't understand. Why have a main family and a branch family? And this weird curse mark. Is there mad losers? It's not simply for decoration. I mean, I'd hope not because it's a horrible shade of green. Should go for like Gara's and get a nice red one. Or even black would be fine. Yes. Why is she in a wee onesie? That's adorable. Is your destiny clear to you? You live only to protect Lady Hinata and to preserve the power of our clan's main household. Oh, that's adorable. So then that's really weird him beating the crap out of her in the tuning exams. <laughs> Hmm. A threat. Wait, what? What's happening? So you can like laser beam his dad's forehead. Take your father home. I'll forgive the fool this time, but only this time. See that you never forget your destiny. Wait, what? He can read his mind? It is also the instrument by which they keep us in our place. We live with the fear that they will use this curse mark to turn our brains to jelly any time they wish. That's really messed up, man. Only in death are we free of it. This is how the power of the Byakugan is kept sealed away. Wait, I'm so confused. It's kept sealed? Of course, there are many who would steal it from us. How do you steal it, though? It is the purpose of the Branch family to defend that secret and to serve the keepers of the secret, the main household, obediently and without question, for eternity. I mean, that's really messed up. Until that dreadful night, they went too far. Wait, when what they happened? murdered my father. Nanny? Why did they murder your dad? Someone entered the main household and abducted Lady Hinata. Was it your dad? Was it your dad that abducted her? Because if so, then I'ma say he deserved to be murdered. I love how they just yeeted her. Like, it's like, oh, yep, here we go, let's go. It's like, yeah, because a kid won't scream at it. And they've probably done some sort of special no scream jutsu. Well, that was easy. Lord Hiyashi quickly caught and killed the man. And who was this intruder? Stealing through the shadows in the dead of night? Wearing a mask over his face? It was none other than the head cloud ninja of the Land of Lightning. Oh, oh no. But the Land of Lightning professed shock at this willful murder of their ninja. They claimed that the Hidden Leaf Village was in violation of the treaty, and they demanded recompense. Screw that! Go to work! Go back to work! Kill them all! That's what I say! Kill them all! <sighs> What's this? What? Oh. No, I'd wreck them. The Leaf Village wanted above all things to avoid a war. So at last, they made a deal. A deal? 
A life for a life. The Land of Lightning demanded the death of the person who had slain their ninja. Who sacrifices his, sacrificed to did his twin brother. And so to avert a war, a man was killed. But not Hiyashi. Oh, it was his dad who was a twin, right. In order to protect the main household! Yeah, I mean, you can, can understand why he's a bit salty about this full main household, sub-household type thingamendic. Twin brothers, but their destinies had been determined long ago. When one was born a few seconds after the other. It's kind of madness that. My brothers are twin brothers. And this match is the same. Your destiny was decided the moment I was chosen as your opponent. Yeah, because he knew he was going to beat you. Listen, man, right? That sucks. But you, you, you can't even, you hold on to this far too much. No, I'm kidding. That does suck. Like, jokes, jokes aside. I've had too much sugar. Jokes aside, that does really suck. Like, I can't. I can't imagine being born and like from like I don't believe in destiny or any of that crap but that's like being born into indentured servitude you know where you like it's crazy to even think that that's the way the world used to work back in the day where people were literally born into like you are a slave <laughs> you know ah uh, yeah that's messed up man like, and then his dad was given over because his dad's, like, destiny was obviously to protect the main household. Ugh, oh, man, yeah, that is messed up. I do feel for Neji, but the fact that he would put that sort of evil on Hinata when Hinata's, like, got nothing to do with it. Like, because you can imagine that when Hinata grows up, she's not going to be like, yeah, kill him to protect the Byakuga. No, why would she care? And I feel like there's stuff like that that's quite difficult to wrap your head around. Um, because there's, I don't know, like, things like that generally don't pass on that many generations. Ah, uh, yeah. Anyway. Anyway, I'm excited to see what happens at the rest of this, uh, the rest of this fight after we've just had, like, a nedgy sort of backstory filling in. I did enjoy it, though. It was really interesting. Um... But there's only one way to see the conclusion of this fight, and that's by watching the next episode. Unfortunately, we run out of time in this one, so as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Steve Jubin Awesome, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.